So how's everyone doing today? Hopefully okay. Hopefully nobody's super snowed in. We're just a little snowed in here. So, all right. Oh, here's Sophia. Hold on. Let me accept. She'll be popping on here. There we go. Hi, Hi Sophia. I'm so good. How are you? Nice to I, finally meet. I know. How are you feeling? You look great. So oh, good. hopefully better. Happy but anniversary. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That thank looks you so, so much. much fun. It was fun. We had a blast. So. Oh, good. I saw you guys went disco dancing and I was like, yes. oh, my dog just walked in. He might want to say hi. I, you have a puppy too, right? We have two and oh. a cat who's actually right behind me. It's a snow day today, so I am a oh. doing this from home. So. Oh no, how bad is it? I feel like everyone I've spoken to on the East Coast is not happy. It's pretty bad. <laughs> pretty oh bad. no. I have not ventured outside yet today, but it's Like bad. what temperature are we talking? Um, like teens, but feels like zero so you know Rough. just good old indiana like i'm not gonna mention the weather in la right no, now please don't. Please don't. <laughs> so how are you doing what are you up to i am doing so good um released a new single as i'm sure we're gonna talk about loud and that's yes. been my focus the last couple of weeks which has been really really exciting and um finished shooting a movie at the end of last year just a lot a lot of really beautiful things going on so really amazing you. well that is so exciting so Thank you. yes speaking of all the things you do which obviously you've acted on disney descendants um Aston and alley um you had a netflix movie come out feel the beat um amazing singer <laughs> but also i hear you do charity work for unicef i do I'm, like, an, I'm an ambassador yeah yeah so tell us a little bit about that like what does that involve when you do so i've been an ambassador for unicef since 2020 and um it's the greatest honor of my life. Essentially, as an ambassador, I get to champion for the rights of children. For me, especially, it's the rights of young women around the world and support UNICEF in their efforts, particularly towards the education of young women. So I've been able to travel with them. Unfortunately, since the pandemic, I haven't been able to, but I was right. able to go on a trip to Brazil and meet the young girls whose lives have literally been saved through education. I, um, I spoke with the United Nations in December on behalf of UNICEF, which wow. was incredible oh my god um, yeah it truly is the most important thing that i can do we have a lot of special things coming up this year that i i can't wait to share with everyone i mean that is so amazing and just like such important work especially on the behalf of girls and young women i mean kudos to you like you. that is so so special that you Thank do you. that for sure and you're also a revlon ambassador as well yeah. i mean all those ambassadorships <laughs> you should run for some sort of government <laughs> <laughs> thank you um yeah actually lol it's what i have on my lips not to shameless promotion no but, do um, it. <laughs> you're all about it um, yeah, it's really, really, really special. You know, Revlon is a beauty brand that stands for so much more than physical beauty. It celebrates women for who we are on the inside and bold women. And it's an honor to, to, to be one of their faces and to join the ranks of women like Audrey and some history making women. So it's uh, been really special to be a part of that family. Really? Yes. Amazing. So you have a new single coming out, right? Yes, yes. out officially. Yes, out officially. Yeah. So talk to us a little bit about that. Like yes. inspiration, what it's about. You sure. Know. So Loud is my current single and Loud is a song that is dedicated to and inspired by all of the women of the world and all of the fearless, loud voices of change. Um, you know, we're part of a generation, that was my fun. We're part of a generation of women who are at the forefront of history by using their voices. And I'm constantly inspired by them. And the song celebrates us all and amplifies our voices. And it's been so special to see the, the response and the reaction, how the song has meant so much to so many um, people around the world. And um, it's been really, really special. Yeah, that is amazing. Well, and like with Women's Empowerment Month coming up, I mean, yes. like like an anthem so that's really exciting what else is in the pipeline for you coming um, up so i um finished shooting a movie at the end of last year that is 
really exciting. It's a movie that I've been developing for five years and I am a producer on the movie as well as leading the leading role of the movie. And then I wrote the music for the movie as well. And it's, oh it was a, you know, a beautiful, beautiful, incredibly fulfilling experience. It'll come out on Netflix um, this year and we're editing the movie right now. It's called Purple Hearts and my character, her name is Cassie. And it's I could go on and on and on about her, but I'm not allowed to say too much, but she is <laughs> most definitely a loud woman and a woman of this generation and a fearless voice. And I was so honored to tell her story and I can't wait for the world to fall in love with her like I did and to get to know um, our love story because it's really, it's really meaningful and political and very much um, a story of the times. Wow, I mean, okay. Acting, singing. <laughs> <laughs> UNICEF <laughs> ambassador uh, Revlon produced your own movie, wrote the music for it, and acted in it. Like yes. triple, you can't even say triple threat. Like how many things is that? Like quadruple, quadruple threat. Thank like you. that is, I yeah. I mean, you were so inspiring. I love oh. that we finally get the chance to talk and Thank chat. You. Um, yeah. So besides all of those things, I mean, I'm sure you were just busy all the time. Like, what do you do in your free time? Like, what <laughs> My hobbies? favorite question. <laughs> um, I don't have any exciting hobbies, unfortunately. I was just recommended to start Wordle, but I haven't tried Wordle um, <laughs> <laughs> on my free time. Honestly, spending time with my sister, who I live with, and we love going uh, to movies, and we love going to dinner. Um, exercise when I can, but, uh, you know, not super exciting things, just the simple things in life that make me happy. <laughs> totally. And you do have a dog, right? I do. He's on the bed. Let me see if I can grab oh, him. Oh, yeah. Say hi. Yes. Yay, what a treat. <laughs> Joey, come here. One second. Okay, he's coming. <laughs> okay. Say hi. Oh, my Joey. gosh. Hi, Joey. Oh, he's so cute. He's, he's technically so my fluffy. sister's dog. Isn't he so uh, fluffy? He's so my sister's fluffy. dog, and I'm his um mom tea, his mom auntie. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. He's the Very dog. important role. Very, Very important, important role. Yes. I know I have like 20 dog and cat nephews. There you so. go. <laughs> So, so important. <laughs> well, I don't want to keep you too long. I know you are a super busy uh, uh, person, but Thank I you. do want to see if there are any questions any yes. of our, our listeners have. I'm sure they have a ton. Yes. I'm sure. Lots, lots yeah. of highs. Lots Hi, of, guys. I love Sophia, of <laughs> course. Oh, somebody <laughs> has one of those. Ask if it was a poodle or a poodle mix. He is a, a miniature poodle. We thought he was a multi poo, but he's not. He's a miniature poodle with, believe it or not, some Spanish water dog, which is very cool. Oh, fun. yes. Um, <laughs> okay, I did see one question that was amazing. Somebody asked if you had a loud moment recently, like if there was something that you had to overcome. Also, what's your favorite movie? I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind. Yes. Okay, let me start with what's my favorite movie because that one is an easier one <laughs> to answer. <laughs> Uh, my favorite movie of all time is Moulin Rouge. Um, oh, yes, good one. My favorite ever. A recent loud moment. I mean, I would say, you know, in Netflix, the Netflix movie, I think, starring in and producing and writing the music for that. And, you know, I was really, um, I was honestly pretty terrified going into the movie because it was a really challenging role. And, you know, it was five years in the making. And, I, you know, there's always that... Unfortunately, that self-doubt in our brain that that keeps us from doing what what we know we can do that fear. Oh my god! And I yes. was so scared before we started filming, and um, I was able to overcome it and to lose myself in the role. And um, I was really, really proud at the end of filming. So I would say that was a loud moment. And speaking at the United Nations was also um, another very loud moment for me as well. Yeah, I can imagine. Be, yeah, actually speaking and yes, yeah, being there and being, being voice, there. Yeah. I mean, how can you get louder than that? With I mean, the that Secretary just, General of the United uh, Nations, I was like, what am I doing here? 
<laughs> well, I'm sure you were absolutely amazing. Thank so you. I know somebody asked if you have plans to come to Indianapolis soon. I mean, obviously not in the snow. <laughs> oh, to be honest, and I say this all the time, but people who live in the snow will laugh at me. I love the snow, but then again, I don't live in it. So for me, short <laughs> yeah. the snow, I'm like, this is magical. I would love to. I am yeah. honestly so eager to jump on a plane and start going on radio tour and on tour. But unfortunately, with the situation of the world, we haven't been able to yet. Right. But as soon as I can, I am there. Yeah. Well, that's amazing to know that you do have plans. To oh, travel. yeah, for sure. And yes, hopefully um, you do make your way to Indianapolis. I we would will. absolutely love to have you. you. Um, anything else? I mean, a lot of people are asking if you are going on tour, if you're coming to England. Yeah. There were some highs from Brazil. Hi, Brazil. Up there. Well, I mean, Indonesia is here. UK. I miss asking. London so much. I hope, I hope. Oh, I love London too. Soon. Yeah. Somebody was asking if you're making any more descendants. I know we get asked that all the time. Yeah. It's a tough question for me because I could never imagine doing it without Cameron. So, um, mm -hmm. and for me that, that, you know, that's, um, not a possibility, but you never know, you know, the Descendants franchise is so beloved and we're so grateful yeah. for everyone for loving it so much. And, you know, they will truly, our characters will live on forever. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Anything else you want to share before I let you go back? I your think we talked life? about everything. I uh, think we got it all. <laughs> yeah. Well, Thank you are you. so, so great. Thank you Thanks, so yeah. much for coming and talking to us today. Anytime. Thanks. Thank you yes, for having and me and hopefully I'll see you soon. Yes, yes. We'll Send my love to Annie it. and to the puppies and the kitties. Oh, I will for sure. Bye. Bye. Thank you everybody for joining in and being a part of that wonderful chat with Sophia. I mean, she is just the sweetest. Like that was amazing. Um, I got to hop off because I am going to be on radio now here shortly from three to seven. So come hang with me. You can listen live on our website, radionowindy.com. And of course, our app, Radio Now 1009. Thank you all. Have a good day. Hope you all are staying safe and healthy. Bye. <laughs>